Let me unmute everyone. Do we have any visitors that wish to speak? No visitors wish to speak. No one wants. I've unmuted them, Joe. They keep uh, muting them. Themselves. Yeah. Yep. See, that's why I went through each one. There's one trying to connect with one. That's that. Okay, we'll move on with the regular meeting. Any motion to approve the September 14th, 2020 regular meeting minutes as submitted? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to approve the October 2020 bill list. I'll move. Second. 
All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to approve the October 16th, 23rd, 30th, and November 6th, 2020 payrolls. So moved. Next second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to adopt ordinance number 1015, an ordinance of Borough of Bridgeville, adopting minimum construction standards for the repair, improvement, and construction of public infrastructure within the borough. I'll move. Second. Joe. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to adopt ordinance number 1016, an ordinance of the Borough of Bridgeville, electing to amend its non uniform pension plan administered by the Pennsylvania Municipal Retirement System pursuant to Article 4 of the Pennsylvania Municipal Requirement, Retirement Law, agreeing to be bound by all provisions of the Pennsylvania Retirement Law as amended and as applicable to member municipalities. So yes, Nick and Nina, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to adopt ordinance number 1017, an ordinance of the Borough of Bridgeville authorizing the incurring of non-electoral debt by the issuance of a general obligation note in the principal amount of $1,700,000, counting to pay and pledging unlimited taxing power for the payment of the note, fixing the form, the interest rate, maturity, redemption, and other provisions for the payment thereof, authorizing a filing of required documents with the Department of Community and Economic Development, ratifying and directing certain actions of officers and making certain other comments as provisions of respect for the next. I second. Move by Nino. Second. Second. Second by BJ. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? I'm sorry, you have to make note that um, Joe Reese has abstained. Um, any opposition? Motion passed. In a motion to adopt resolution number 2020-16, a resolution of the Borough of Bridgeville authorizing execution of a cable franchise agreement between the Borough and Verizon Pennsylvania LLC. I second. Second. You know, and Joe Blossom, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to approve executing a service agreement with Noble Environmental for the 2021 electronic and the household hazardous waste recycling collection event. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to accept the lowest responsible bid and receive an award contract in the amount of $117,800 to Jet Jack for the backwater valve contract phase three. I need a motion to I'll be opposed to number uh, one hundred seventeen thousand eight hundred dollars to check check. And uh, Bruce makes the motion without a second. I'll second. Joe second and all in favor. Uh, opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to accept the lowest responsible bid received and award contract in the amount of eighty-nine thousand eight hundred sixty dollars to Jet Jack Incorporated as read. Pending certification by the borough engineer for the borough for Flower Hill Road stormwater improvements project. Um, subject to recertification. Okay. To read it, read it. No, it's all. This, um, this one has, it, it already has been certified. Oh, okay. it's, it's the work that's in the very Okay. Did I have a motion? I'll make a motion. Okay, a second. I'll second. And then all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to accept the lowest responsible bid received and award contract in the amount of $106,811 to Brex Enterprises as read pending certification by the borough engineer for the Jane Way Stream Bank Stabilization, stabilization Project. Second. Second. Eugene Nick. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Need a motion to accept the lowest responsible bid received and award contract in the amount of $273,500 to LMNR Excavating LLC, as read, pending certification by the borough engineer for the Nawaka Run Park Flood Improvement Project. So moved. Second. 
All in favor? Aye. Opposed? That motion passes. Need a motion to schedule and authorize advertisement of the 2021 budget meeting for Monday, November 2nd, 2020 at 6 p.m. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to ratify the appointment of the law firm Dinsmore and Scholl as special bond legal counsel. I so move. Wait, one second. It's for the one for the one. Okay, I'm in. Sean Garrett. Yeah, I'm in. Second. Second, PJ. Yeah. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? I have a question. question. Oh, just to verify, I mean, I have nothing to do off the street with them. Should I abstain for this vote as well? I don't want this to cost you, it would be consistent with your prior attempt, so I'll abstain. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion passes. Any motion to authorize the disbursement of $20,974 from the Capital Project Fund Stefanix Next Generation Construction Company? Payment number one, final of the commercial street Palmer head wall repair project. So, second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. We need a motion to authorize the disbursement of $6,913.76 from the sewer fund to advance plumbing and drain for final payments on both the 2016 and 2017 CCTV inspection and cleaning projects. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Not for the fact that's the question. Any idea why it took so long? I can't answer. It says spillover from the last one. Pass that motion. Motion authorizes disbursement of 8,000. $487.64 to Check Jack Incorporated for payment applications two and three filed for the 2018 CCTV inspection project. Yes, sir. Second. And Joe, for the second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Need a motion to authorize the disbursement of $3,397.23. From the capital project funds to the Glory Construction Corporation for payment application to the final for the Maple Street Retaining Wall Project. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That motion passed. Need a motion to authorize the purchase and erection of an LED display message board at the borough building for North American Display installed by Wholesale Digital Signs. With masonry work completed by Lewis and Sons and the total project costs of $37,235. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Yeah, I have a question. Is this for the concrete? Is this for the brick? That, is this yeah, the we got a picture of the uh, project. I I yeah. So we went with the brick. And, uh, Okay, so we, we pass that motion, correct? Yes, yes. Need a motion to authorize executing a confidentiality agreement and authorization for Southwest Allegheny Tax Collection District, appointing the borough manager as the authorized contact person for the borough. I should move. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion passes. Need a motion to approve the following real estate tax refund due to a change in assessment as requested by the real estate tax collector. Copy of the official changeover has been attached to the request. This is for year 2020 from lot block 255-A-295, the amount of $3,981.25 to Bridgeville Savings and Loan. So moved. Second. I have a question. Go ahead. I assume that their assessment was lower, and this is just for any property. Does the school district handle the discussions or if they're going to uh, go to the appeal process? I, I can speak to that term. Um, and I can look at the board. But this is by and large the result of the appeal that's followed by the school district or the back row. 
Why is it by the bank they're getting a refund? Well, that just means they failed on my appeal. And it may be like if they instigated this appeal and it went through an appeal and it was conciliation or reconciliation. We try to broadly, but we don't get involved in them because we want to help spend money on our appeals. Unless it stays in the Yeah, but if this is a change of result in disposition of appeal in the NC, there was a county, school district, and uh, and the board of board either conciliated and settled and mutually agreed on the level or somebody was going to. We really wouldn't know if the school board or the school district went and tried to. Well, they certainly would have. Yeah, there's the school district solicitor. Basically, to be honest, the only real reason why I'm asking is to, to get thirty-nine or almost four thousand dollars as a refund. It's a pretty significant change in the, the assessment, I would assume. Yeah, and I know it's the borough of tax. It isn't right. It isn't the school district tax. So four thousand dollars from the borough tax is a pretty significant drop. Right. So the property must go significantly. So I'm questioning. Did anybody, for example, the school district review that? I'm sure it was reviewed. I mean, I'll look out next to you to make sure I know exactly what happened. And it's all dependent upon the original value that you know the community is growing. Right. Any other questions? Thank you. Julie, you can that question. You didn't know all of it. Okay. Um, all in favor? Yeah. Opposed? Yeah. Motion passed. Need a motion to accept and pay any commission due September 2020 real estate tax collector. I'll move. Second. All in favor? Uh, Opposed? Motion passed. Need a motion to acknowledge receipt of the September 2020 treasurer. I'll move. Second. All in favor? Uh, Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to accept September 2020 police report. Second. Okay. All in favor? Uh, Opposed? Motion passes. I need a motion to approve the disbursement of $74,730.90 for partial payment number one and approving change order number one in the amount of $1,776 to install eight foot guide rail posts along the eroded portion of Stream Bay. It's here ready site development and creative content. Second. All in favor? Uh, opposed? Uh, motion passed. Okay, we're going to move on to committee reports. Uh, administration. I really have nothing to do on the report this one. Okay. My name is Joe Bruce. Uh, thanks, Bill. Uh, first of all, I, I want to thank Joe Carr. He's been uh, doing a great job uh, getting our finance committee uh, informed as well as helping us through understanding the budget. Uh, and uh, he has done, gave, given us some analysis over the last uh, few months. And, and sure enough, we got one through September 30th. Um, some of the notes that he uh, prepared for us, the general fund uh, revenue is 93.21% of the year. Uh, compared to last year, this same time, uh, it was at 90.61%. So the revenue coming in is up. Uh, the real estate collection, collections is slightly compared to last year, 95% uh, uh, in this budget and last year it was 93. So, so great things there. Um, some areas that we expected as we were going through this uh, pandemic, uh, of areas that were expected to be down was of course the business privilege tax, the mercantile tax and fines for obvious reasons. Um, due to unfortunately businesses weren't open and, and, and limited capacity. Uh, earned income tax is ahead of uh, budget by 5% uh, as last year, and uh, we're expecting that to be uh, at budget or even a little bit above. Um, so therefore, the good part uh, is, is that uh, layoffs didn't affect uh, our town as much, so 
that's wonderful to hear. Obviously, there were still some some uh, out there, so we hope that uh, things uh, get better uh, for, for our residents. Uh, as far as expenditures, uh, they are down this year. Uh, we ended at uh, just shy of 64% uh, of our budget, uh, whereas last year we were at 72%, so, so really good there. Um, a lot of this also helped that we got that county CARES aid of $125,000. Um, we'd only be ahead $12,000 if it wasn't for that. So that, so that really, really helped us. Um, so it was great that we were approved for that uh, grant. Um, the garbage fund is uh, reporting as budgeted, so uh, nothing really notable there. And the sewer fund revenue is uh, down by 7% compared to last year. Uh, but the expenditures seem to be about the same. So we're, we're doing well. So in a nutshell, uh, we're doing really well. So it's, it's great to see uh, that we haven't um, uh, too many cash flow issues. Uh, we do, as one of our motions was, uh, we are going to have a, a move into the public meeting. Can I assume <laughs> this same type of format? Um, so, uh, we have to advertise prior to it anyway. So, uh, I would say let's plan it for this format unless something were to change for that. Okay. Um, I don't need to know this week. We yeah. change the menu. Um, should we have a discussion on it right now? That's why we just bring it up. Yeah. Yeah. What would our venue option be? I mean, it's a budget meeting. Right. It's just a discussion meeting. Of, of Joe's going to talk about some of the highlights and things that he has concern over, or some positive things, or some suggestions. It's it's for us to be able to talk all together about the budget. So we all it needs to be a public meeting. I, I misunderstood. I thought it was a planning commission. No, no, no. We're talking about the budget. Yeah, let's have it the same form. Same form. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So that is November 2nd. Uh, and uh, I also will be having a finance committee meeting. Um, the 21st? 20th. Next Tuesday. Next Tuesday, the 20th, um, at 11 o'clock between the finance committee and, uh, and our borough manager. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Well, good news. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Parks and Recreation, Joe Colossal. Uh, I don't have to too much. I took a ride down the block in today. I know this is a house, it's like stone work. So basically, it's the asphalt paving. As you were saying, the asphalt, they run the concrete and pour. They notice there's a couple of forms still up that we have to do a curb, I guess. So it looks like they might be on hold waiting for the lowering of the ball field. I'm not quite sure about that. I'm assuming that's going to be. Yeah, we just lost the cast. Okay. So, the, the meeting didn't go. Uh, so go ahead and continue, Joe. Thanks. So I guess the like, last last month they were waiting to get the ball through a rotary and hopefully the air did jump and that might happen. Okay. That's all I really have on the parks. Uh, something from the club. Nina would probably be able to know this job. It's for Frank Zick. And times and times away. So he was on the clock for yeah. years and years, and he uh, the whole town there. Everybody went to town sometimes. He was standing very fast away. And uh, that's all I had to say. Sorry to hear about that. Public works building, Nina. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. But a couple of things that could be interest to people 
for our uh, community. This, the uh, street to street from last completed every Wednesday can finish for the season on September the 30th. So we don't have to use a letter anymore to let the people know what this thing said. Somehow, okay, they'll get that. The leaf collection started Monday, October 12th. It will run through the first week of December. Leaves are to be swept into the pile of the third, as usual. But we don't do that, but we can pick it up. Please do not place any other yard waste, such as a stick or debris or leaves in a pile. And the rest is grass cutting and sentier sewer and said, they said, and this is important for the public to know. Uh, and I think the only people got to say this tonight. Uh, the new truck will be delivered this month. And it sets in the get shop for details and whatever. Um, other than that, it's all normal uh, routine. It's done in the mechanic uh, part. Uh, only one thing I must uh, definitely say that Bobby Ford uh, did do a heck of a good job for the few people we yeah. yeah. it's, it's, They do a wonderful job. Those things are very important that I read in the first couple of lines for the people, for the community, for to, to know when they can pick up and when they can report. How we're going to do it. Maybe in a garbage bill. I don't know. Somehow. Do it. So yeah, that, that, is, that is going to be in this month's garbage bill, the one page newsletter with the updates. Yeah. So that will go out this month. Okay. That's, okay. And, and everything else is normal uh, routine here. Uh, and a big compliment to the public board. Uh, under uh, Joe Coward, I tell the public court is a different point, and, and I certainly appreciate it, Joe. I'd like to say one thing. Um, Turkers Park, when we come to the fall, we get a little shabby. Um, they work their butt off. Uh, my wife and I occasionally will walk the trail there, and they did a great job. Uh, so, so thank you. Anything else? That's all. Thank you. 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 From five to seven, and out treats for the children in, in the community. And I want to thank the Public Works Department also for getting in touch with the Gaming Commission to come and collect the dead deer from the backyard of the Easley's Farm, mostly. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, please use the clock here. Uh, so let's see. Oh, thank you. I can hear my written report. Um, I'm not going to give you an issue to that. Other than, you know, we are checking for the presentation. Girl Engineer, Kevin Burke. Yes, uh, good evening. Yes. Can everybody good hear evening. me? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, we. Um, uh, as you had on the agenda tonight, there was a number of the projects awarded for bid. Um, we will expedite uh, the park project. Um, there is grant funding involved with each one of those projects. Um, so we have to get the contract awards out and it takes about 10 days to get them back. The county has to give authorization for notice to proceed. And then those projects will get started. We will schedule the pre-construction meeting as early as possible so that they can begin uh, lowering the field uh, as the big item so the other project can get completed. Um, the good news on those bid awards was 
um, you you were collectively about 50,000 under uh, what the estimates were. So they come in uh, uh, on budget. Uh, the one was slightly over, but uh, that was one with Jane Street. Um, and it was joined with the uh, actual field lowering. So that entire grant ended up being under about 50,000. So that was a good thing. Uh, update on the road program. Uh, they should be in uh, sometime over the next week. They're in South Fayette, milling and paving right now. Um, so they will move in to mill. It'll take about three to four days for that work to be completed. Um, we did get together with the uh, street committee and reviewed the long-term plan and we sent a draft over um, for budgeting uh, for that. Uh, other updates, we did include in this month's uh, report uh, a couple photographs of work that was completed by Stefanik, uh, the concrete poured um, uh, down in the stream on the abutment and the manhole, they did get the caller poured around it. Um, they are waiting, uh, it's back ordered uh, item for the uh, frame and grate to, or frame and lid to come in uh, for that uh, manhole that's down in a stream. And uh, we did have a, a Zoom call also um, with Joe to discuss the uh, next round of um, uh, grant funding that's possible through GROW. And we provided him some information in, uh, for budget purposes. And there will be a meeting um, in either October or November um, to discuss uh, the potential for getting a GROW grant. Elkisan's provided some pretty good input on uh, how we should package that. So hopefully uh, you will uh, be eligible for that next round of funding. Uh, any questions on the report? No, well, think we're good, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you very much. Our chief, you're in the same. I'm going to get into the report. For the month of September, we had a general of 19 goals, one building fire. Uh, it's a thing in Mexico, two times, litter vehicle accident, uh, one call, and numerous other calls. Uh, I'm just going to let folks know that it's kind of the time of the year that you're trying to charge the long years. Just be safe with them, you know, uh, any signs or, you know, that you uh, see out of your house, so don't go free to call us and come check it out for you guys. Uh, be safe. We also have a fundraiser going out right now, they're slave full cash. The chance for money to see any uh, volunteer firefighters or anything you have. And um, <coughs> other than the, uh, we'll be at the uh, trunk retreat with the railroad and we'll Nick. We'll also be trolling the uh, trolling neighborhood because we're always doing with our trucks. So we'll have our truck or down there for the trunk retreat and we'll be passing out the video going to. Uh, Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, call volume for EMS is down still. We haven't hit the benchmark that we were at before COVID hit. Um, I did submit a report earlier to you all. Um, COVID is still out there, so everybody be careful because uh, we are transporting patients that are ending up COVID positive. Um, if you haven't noticed in your mail, uh, hopefully the residents have noticed that our donation drive has gone out and I apologize to the fire department if that kind of went out at the same time theirs did. Um, we, uh, this is our fall drive. We typically use this for, uh, capital, uh, projects where we'll target a heart monitor or piece of equipment that we'd like to purchase. Uh, unfortunately with everything going on this year, we're going to be using those funds strictly for uh, operations and paying the bills this time. So uh, we would appreciate any support that the community could give us when it comes to the donation drive. Um, one good thing that's gone, been going on out there is um, we were able to get a really good uh, grant writer. She's done a phenomenal job for us. And um, she was able to get a very rare AFG grant, um, which was uh, opened up for PPE in regard to the COVID um, response, and uh, she was able to get us a $16,000 um, AFG grant for PAPRS. Uh, so we were lucky enough to get these from the uh, 
Drager Company, which are helmets that have an incorporated um, pure air respirator system. Um, so if you see our guys walking around in these helmets and face shields, uh, basically is their protection for the COVID uh, situation. Uh, they do provide uh, a filtered air to the face and uh, will not require them to wear a N95 or uh, eye protection anymore. It's all incorporated in the helmet and part of the air system that they will be wearing as a backpack or on a, on a belt pack. So um, we thank Jordan for doing such a phenomenal job because that helps us, especially because the supply chain on, on PPE, the N95s and gowns and everything is still broken. Um, we, we're having a tough time finding anybody that uh, has an open supply chain. We were just advised by our vendor the other day that our glove supply would be limited uh, to 12 boxes a month when truly we probably use 24 to 30 a month. So we're going to have to try and find some other source to supplement those. So um, it's an interesting time out there. And uh, But uh, uh, that's about it for EMS. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. Stay safe, Mark. Uh, anybody from the historical society? Yes. Um, yes. Down top on the table are copies of the note cards that the historical society is selling. The colored ones for six for seven dollars, and we were hoping that you support this because we weren't able to have our normal fundraiser. So, President Wise hopes that you will purchase those. Also, the Last Tuesday in this month, the Historical Society program will be the Salem Witch Trials. Todd DiMastino will be the person who's speaking on that subject. And the Historical Society will also be taking part in the trunk and treat at the rail yards parking lot. And President Wise would also like to thank all who purchased raffle tickets for the baskets that were also at the rail yard and were uh, selected on September 3rd. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody from the library present? Okay. That's not me. I've asked to not Ben, are you uh, here to be muted on our screen if you're speaking about the library? Nothing? I will move on and uh, we'll come back on track. Uh, parking for you. Anybody from parking for you? No? He is soft. He is soft. He can't use it. Okay, planning commission representative. Let's get Mike out there. Anybody else, Mike? I don't think so. I didn't see. I didn't see Dale or anybody. Got anything for us? Um, we had a real quick meeting uh, the last, uh, this m past month or September, I'm sorry. Um, next month we'll have a, a it's, it's our we'll have a pretty extensive meeting uh, going over what we're gonna be presenting to council as far as um, getting ready for your, you know, for budget submittal. Um, as you know, what, you know, we've been doing that all year and it's kind of coming to a head uh, next month to what we wanted, what we would like to see um, put in the budget uh, for planning. So the last month I said it was a pretty quick meeting. Yeah, thank you, appreciate it. No problem. Uh, uh, maybe just tailing along with what Mr. Spore was saying, uh, this month's planning commission meeting, I would encourage everyone to attend uh, on Zoom, uh, but the engineer will be presenting uh, his long term flood solution plan. That encompasses uh, ways to mitigate flooding along the block on creek. So it's rather imperative uh, that everyone participates. And it's kind of exciting that we're going to be kicking these capital projects to the planning commission, trying to get some public input into the costs. So uh, 
the space program at 7 30 on October 26th. Um, Mr. Reduce is saying the 2021 budget is underway, uh, which is pretty much the majority of the way completed. The goal is to have the draft budget to the finance committee by the end of this week so that we can have discussions at, at next week's finance meeting. So I want to give it to you guys so you can at least review it over the weekend. Uh, the first health insurance policy is renewed. Good news, they actually went down a half a percent for next year. So that's an increase in the United States. The decrease, granted, it's small, but it, anything uh, even minor of an increase, I was happy to see. So that was cool. uh, Quarterly update we're trying to get back into the routine having a newsletter. Uh, at last last meeting, we talked about doing an annual newsletter, but we're also doing an in house mini newsletter that's included with every garbage bill. It's kind of like a short coffee pot, something that you can read real quick over breakfast and at least know what's going on in town this quarter. So it's printed, it's going out next week with garbage bills. Uh, code enforcement has been pretty proactive part of my job. Uh, we passed along the town about 30 notices for issues in town. A lot of them being debated. I had issued two citations this past month, but uh, overall, uh, everyone's been very cordial and addressing issues. Have been great. So that's all I had. If there's any questions, I'd be more than happy. Any questions for Joe? Thanks, Joe. Um, let me go back to the, the bend in the library. So you can add in. I don't know if I can hear me or not. Uh, it's not there. Not there? Okay. Okay, anything under old business? How do people hear us? I'd like to know while we are on. the record. Yeah, yeah. Um, can you folks hear us on the Zoom? Be interested in getting your feedback. Yeah, get away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Pat, what did you say? I said all I heard was the word feedback. You seem to be wanting public comment, but I can't understand what you're asking for comment on. We wanted to know if you could hear us. <laughs> can you hear us? I can hear that. I. Okay. All right. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, anything else under old business? How about new business? Any other new business? Cameron, I, I definitely want to talk about the new business. I know you made a very clear uh, answer from the protection of everybody. Yeah, that's important. But I believe very strongly that if we make an arrangement with the fire to where an open meeting like we used to over there, that is not the effective preparation of that fireball. I believe that we actually can separate ourselves and the 10, 15 people making the account. Uh, that's my suggestion. I think we should start to do that because this could go, who knows, maybe not in a year, maybe not a month, not in two. Do something to ensure this and think about that. As I say, it's a plenty of room over there. We have a, they have a wedding set up. And we, have a, we can have a company, a really public meeting. Something to think about. That we don't have to go through. Or else, just to go straight to Zoom, I think we're very uh, successful to just do the Zoom. And we're doing one or the other. This, this works good for us. It's no problem. I have no complaint. But for the public, public meeting, it, it just, it, I think it's enough in my understanding to make other arrangements since we have place that we can exercise this public meeting. Get together with the first party. That's my opinion. I won't be mad one with the other. I mean, we should consider that. 
at least all day coming up and ever. Something to think about. I, I will I will say I think everybody's frustrated. <laughs> and that it would be our desire to have a bomb meeting. I don't think anybody else can have both or have it, but I think we owe it to ourselves, we owe it to the, the community and the public that are attending these to be safe. And I hear you and you know we'll have discussion and uh, make a determination what we'll to do moving forward. Uh, but I, I don't think these decisions to hold these meetings these last few months were not there was no intention to withhold any information from the public. Um, I think we've been very upfront in, in using this format to allow people who actually normally wouldn't attend a meeting to attend the result. So uh, it's an interesting time. And uh, I think we're all trying to navigate through it the best we can. Uh, some different ways. Appreciate you coming. Anything else on the new business? Yeah, I'd like to thank and uh, welcome everybody in the community to the rail yard and conjunction with the Bridgeville Volunteer Fire Department, Police Department, Historical Society. Um, trunk our treat on October 31st from 5 to 7 p.m. Um, if you're interested in joining, please email the rail yard or Facebook the rail yard for the limited spots, parking spots. We're trying to do social distancing. Um, rail yard providing gloves so people can hand out candy safely and require everybody wearing masks. Please spread the word to your local community, um, your neighbors, let them know that we'll be down there from five to seven before church treating starts at six. Um, so if you want to come down and get some king size candy bars, do it with. Yeah, anything else under new business? No, that will take a motion to adjourn. So move. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Senior. Evening. I want to fly for